The key issues that we face in treating primary biliary cholangitis are, I think, number one, convincing patients that it's a disease that needs to be treated despite the fact that they, many of them don't have symptoms. Uh, we also face the opposite end, which is patients who have very difficult symptoms to treat, including pruritus and fatigue. And then we face patients who take medication and do not have success in controlling their disease. Key takeaways in my discussion regarding primary biliary cholangitis today include uh, standard treatment is an absolute must for all patients, that we struggle with a patient population who is not successful in taking standard treatment with ursodeoxycholic acid, and that it's taken over 20 years for us to get to the next round of approved treatments and more research. So we're still struggling with a good percentage of the patient population who has this condition, who is not able to be successfully treated, and they develop end-stage liver disease. I think there's plenty of hope with um, a number of trials that we have now for the first time in a long time to treat these patients. Thank you.